The Adventures of a Plastic Bottle, a story about recycling, a green book for green readers. January 1st, Dear Diary, do you ever get the feeling you were meant to do something? Right now, I'm a thick oozing blob of crude oil deep underneath the ocean floor and I've been here for thousands of years. But someday, I could be made into fuel like gasoline for cars or jets, or I could even be made into, into tar or asphalt and help build roads. I hear something cranking and clattering above. I better go check it out. January 11th. Hi, diary. Guess what that noise was? It was a huge drill. I was sucked through a long, wide pipe and into the belly of a giant boat they called a tanker because the inside of the boat is specially designed to carry liquids like a big floating fish tank. The ship sailed for more than one week and when it stopped, I was pumped into an oil refinery. Now, I'll be put through machines that will clean me and change me into a form that people can use to make lots of things like gasoline, wax, oil, and plastic. I wonder what's going to happen to me next, diary. What will I become? January 13th, Dear Diary, the oil refinery was amazing. It whirred, it rumbled, it bubbled. I went through a lot of changes. I got so hot that I just about disappeared when I turned into a light misty gas. And just when things cooled down and I felt heavy again, it got hot and the whole thing started all over. The changes I went through were called polymerization. Before I knew it, I had become a pile of plastic crumbs. Can you believe it? Plastic. Some of the other crude oil, crude oil that I traveled with turned into paste, some into a thick, clear liquid, and some became powder. But we have one thing in common. We're all ready to be molded into a new shape. P.S. Hey, diary. Did you know that plastic comes from the Greek word plastikos? It means easy to mold or shape. Ah, highly fascinating. January 29th. Hi, diary. Guess what? I was sent to a manufacturing plant and they heated me until all my little crumbs got nice and squishy. While I was still warm, a machine squeezed me into a mold shaped like a bottle and when I cooled off, I was a beautiful, clear plastic bottle. For real! I felt so light and sturdy as I tumbled into a bin with all the other bottles. As many as 10 million plastic bottles can be made in a day. That's a lot of bottles going out to see the world and never coming back. Cowabunga! January 30th. Hi-ho, diary. Today was fun. Being a bottle is great. I was clipped onto a bottling line. Whee! I flew down the line and went round and round and up and down. Along the way, I was washed and sterilized. And then I was filled with fresh water. I even got a spiffy label. They're putting all of us bottles into boxes now. I can hardly wait to see the rest of the world. More adventures await me. February 13th. Hey, diary. Today, I arrived at the grocery store. They loaded me into a refrigerator right in the front row where I had a great view of everything around me. The store was filled with plastic containers in all shapes and sizes. I wonder where we'll all go once we've left the store. Maybe I'll find out soon. February 14th. Guess what, diary? A boy bought me at the grocery store and took me to a park bench where he gulped down the cool water. The sun sparkled on the side of my bottle. Birds chirped in the tree above me. There were pretty flowers all around. It was so beautiful that I didn't want it to end. But then something even more wonderful happened. The boy rinsed and filled me with warm water, put a flower inside me, and gave me to his mother. I had become a Valentine's Day present. She put me right in the middle of the dinner table. Nothing can be better than being a plastic bottle. Oh, I'm looking good. February 21st, Dear Diary, this week was so great. I wish it weren't over. I got to see so many interesting things like the grocery store and the park, and I was a great vase. The flower wilted and was put into a mulch pile to become fertilizer. Now I'm in a recycling bin, but I have lots of company, a soda bottle, a peanut butter jar, and an ice cream container. Where could I be headed next? What could be better than the life of a plastic bottle? February 23rd. Dear Diary, after I was picked up by the recycling truck, I was brought to a recycling center where they sorted all the different bottles and containers. 
I landed on a mountain of plastic bottles. Now I know where some of those other plastic containers from the store shelves ended up. Did you know we're all different kinds of plastic? You can tell what kind we are by looking at the number on the recycling sign on the bottom of the container. This afternoon, all of us plastic bottles got squished and then we got stacked in big blocks called bales and loaded onto trucks. Here I go again. March 16th, what a busy day, diary. I arrived at the plastic reclaiming plant where I'll be made into something brand new. I was sent down the line where I got shredded, washed, rinsed, and dried. I'm not a bottle anymore. Things started to heat up and pretty soon I got all soft and mushy and then I oozed through an extruder where I was squeezed out into long, thin strands like spaghetti. After that, I got chopped into small bits. I liked being a bottle, but I think I'm ready for a new adventure. July 10th. Hey there, diary. I never thought I could be happier than I was as a plastic bottle, but I am. Can you guess what I am now? Did you know that all of these things are made with recycled plastic? Pretty wild, huh? Did you guess, diary? I'm a synthetic fleece sweatshirt. Can you believe something as soft and warm as synthetic fleece was made from recycled plastic bottles? I went from crude oil to plastic crumbs to a plastic bottle to a vase and finally to a recycled fleece sweatshirt. I'm being worn by an astronaut headed to space. Wow, diary. This journey has been out of this world. So this was a pretty cool story about the adventure of a plastic bottle. So we know that it's important to recycle plastic because plastic is made from crude oil that is drilled from the ground and we know that drilling causes pollution so it's very important for us to recycle our plastic but plastic unlike aluminum can only be recycled so many times before it starts to break down so that's why we need to try our best to reduce the amount of plastic that we use use reusable shopping bags instead of plastic bags use reusable containers instead of water bottles so all of those things will help to reduce the amount of plastic that we need because unfortunately plastic does not get recycled as much as paper does. So we need to focus every effort we can on reducing and recycling all of this plastic. So it's pretty cool that once it, the plastic bottle was recycled, it got made into a synthetic fleece probably won't be able to be recycled again after that, but that's pretty cool, isn't it? So I would hope you can come up with some ways to either reuse some plastic or um, make a choice to recycle the plastic. But we would love to see any pictures that you have of things that you create from plastic bottles. That would be awesome. You can always send it to Keep Cock County Beautiful's email or to their Facebook page. So we hope that you enjoy the adventures of plastic bottles.